This time we have awarded the prize to a very young scholar, Inge Hinterwaldner. She's an art historian and she has worked and studied at the renowned Department of Art History in Switzerland in Basel. It is in fact her PhD thesis and what is the book about? The book is about what Inge Hinterwaldner calls the systemische Bild, the systematic image. The systemische Bild is a term she coined for computer simulations, digital simulations. So it is about a new kind of image that has entered the visual world some decades ago. And it is about a kind of image that has become crucial and important to our lives in very different aspects. Um, from the entertainment industry, to the art world, to the medical world. The reason why we have given the prize to that book is because, for one, the book is a very profound study. It's compiled out of many different case studies. Um, Inge Hinterwaldner has studied and used various systemic images and she has talked intensively to people who deal with these kind of images in their profession, like, for example, doctors in medical in the medical field. But that's only one reason, the profound case studies is one reason why we have awarded the prize. The other reason is because it is backed up by a very fundamental theoretical question. What kind of images are these digital images we are dealing with? What is a systematic image, a systemic image? And here we enter a dispute that has become crucial to the academic world ever since the digital revolution. Um, from the question what kind of image simulations are, two academic disciplines have risen, on the one hand the media studies and on the other hand the Bildwissenschaften. And there was a huge dispute to which kind of field the systemic image, the digital image belongs and the media stu studies have often claimed that they don't belong to the art history, the world of art history, because they are made out of numbers and codes and not out of visual, uh, out of visuals. And here I think, or we think, that Inge Behinterwaldner has profoundly shown that in using these images, in dealing with them on a daily basis, they are actually treated as visual, as visuals. So in, in order to use these images, you have to understand that they are images and you have to walk through them and you have to use them um, as visual depictions of the world. So I think, or we think, we were very impressed by the fact that she could solve that conflict in her case studies and then enter the theoretical discussion by proving how these images are being used and then showing that they in fact stand in the history of visual depictions. Still, she's not claiming that they have come out of the world of art history. They are a different kind of image, but still they are images. And in fact, she compares that revolution to the revolution of the finding of the central perspective in the Renaissance. And all that has impressed us very much and we are very happy to award the prize to Inge Hinterwaldner.